So, I just found this interesting article online, just scrolling through Facebook, as you do. Um, and I thought I'd share it with you, uh, for those who are just too lazy to read. I'll do the reading for you. So, here we go. Thousands of bones discovered in Vatican crypt in search for a missing teenager. Ooh. By Valentina Di Donato. Di Donato and Matthew Robertson, CNN, 21st of July, 2019. Let's watch this video, shall we? Let's watch the video. Why not? Well, that's interesting. Thousands of bones in the crypt. In the Vatican crypt. Possible lead into what happened to a missing girl decades ago at the Vatican. 15-year-old Emanuela Orlandi disappeared on her way home from a music lesson in 1983. No, oh. Looks like a sweet thing. Orlandi was the daughter of a prominent Vatican employee and lived inside Vatican City. Wow. On July 20, investigators unearthed thousands of bones from two underground tombs. Vatican workers opened those first tombs based on a tip sent to the Orlandi family. Guess someone had a conscience. But those tombs, which belonged to two princesses, were empty. Or somebody grew a conscience over time. So two, two little empty coffins, alright. Pietro Orlandi has actively pursued each lead in the search for his sister. It can't end like this because now I want to have an answer to why people whose first and last names I know have indicated this place to us. The Vatican says it will investigate why the remains of the princesses were relocated. The discovered bones are being analyzed for identification. Wow. And as this reads, Thousands of bones have been unearthed, unearthed in two ossuaries discovered in the Vatican City as part of an ongoing search for clues into the disappearance of a 15-year-old girl more than three decades ago. Emanuela Orlandi, who was the daughter of a prominent Vatican employee and lived in the city, the walls of the Holy City, uh, disappeared in the summer of 1983 while on her way home from a music lesson in Central Rome. The mystery surrounding Orlandi's disappearance gripped Italians for more than three decades and inspired conspiracy theories involving everyone from mobsters to international terrorists and the highest echelons of the Vatican. Interest in the case was renewed in the summer last year, when the Orlandi family received an anonymous tip hinting that Emanuela's remains may be located in the tombs of Princess Sophie von Hohenlo and Princess Charlotte Federica of Mecklenburg at the Teutonic Cemetery. The family had received an image of a sculpture and an instruction to look where the angel is pointing. This led them to the Teutonic Cemetery, which is located adjacent to the Grand St. Peter's Basilica, Basilica and is typically reserved for the burials of German-speaking Catholics. After the Vatican agreed for forensic investigators to open the tombs on July 11, wow, so they gave them notice first? No wonder where the angel was pointing, they found nothing. After the Vatican agreed for forensic investigators to open the tombs on July, July 11, funny that, no human remains nor traces of coffins were found, funny that. The Vatican indicated that the remains of the princesses may have been removed during, reno yeah, during renovation uh, work on the cemetery and surrounding buildings back in the 1960s and 70s. Nevertheless, two ossuaries, chambers in which bones of the dead are stored, were uncovered during their investigations beneath the floor of an area inside the Teutonic College. Investigators subsequently discovered thousands of bones in the chambers, which are believed to correspond to dozens of people, according to Giorgio Portera, a geneticist appointed by the Orlandi family. Pope John Paul II with Emmanuel Orlandi in the picture. And uh, from the right, her brother Pietro, Father Erico, and Mother Maria. Yeah, you look like a decent dude, Mr. Paul. Totally. 
DNA analysis analysis will now take place in each set of the remains, but Vatican spokesman Alessandro Gisotti said the precise data will have to await morphological evaluations next Sunday. I should do that sooner. It must be considered that many of the bones being dated are shattered, and therefore this increases the number present, many of which are small bones. Hmm. Gisotti told CNN. This means that there may be more fragments of the same bone structure. Okay. While the origins of the bones remains unknown, Emmanuel's brother, Petri Orlandi, 60 now, said the investigation into the ossuaries had been a great, a great satisfaction. In the ossuaries, there shouldn't be any recent bones. So if there are, even if it's not Emmanuel Orlandi, it will be a problem for the Vatican. That's a win, right? He told the CNN, there are hundreds, thousands of bones, and now the Vatican is classifying them by age and will investigate the more recent ones. To think if she was buried in the ossuary all these years, just 200 meters from our house, it would be devastating, unquote. Oh yeah, and Peter Atlanta says the investigation of the ossuary has been a great satisfaction. I already read that. Why repeat it? Fuck's sake. He added that it is important for an independent expert to investigate the bones to ensure the objectivity of the results. Yeah, just like it's important to not ask Vatican for permission to see if they're hiding any bodies that they uh, unlawfully took the lives out of. Hmm. Uh, he added that it is important, blah, 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 blah. Yep. The Vatican doesn't want this out, and of course not, and doesn't want to be seen in this way. That's probably why they hid the bodies, but if they were there. Uh, but finally, I feel like they have taken a step back and we have taken a step, we have moved a step forward, he said. The Vatican responded in a statement, according to Reuters, saying that it is once again showing its openness towards the Alandi family, unquote, in agreeing for investigations to take place in the Teutonic cemetery even when only based on an anonymous report wow wow that's interesting that's interesting right and you hear all these these stories of like fucking children homeless children and just various children disappearing uh molestation that's already out there that's like there's so many fucking priest jokes right um that you do have those conspiracy theories that say that they also do sacrifices like black market high-end high rollers that go in and they have the parties of a lifetime don't think the popes aren't invited to them um and you know the idea is that there are ritualistic sacrifices and all manner of fucking it's like the house of what is it a thousand days of bodom or something like that like that horrific book about men with power and complete supremacy and absolutely no supervisory oversight watching them and what they get up to you can only imagine and uh you know what it's scary to find all those bones underneath hidden beneath the the college and uh near this this um the pope's chapel whatever the fuck this was but uh what's even scarier is to contemplate um what those people went through and what those children went through while they were still alive that is the true horror but yeah so uh this has been i guess reading reading news reports for your convenience with Phoenix and uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace out.